It's spring fever time in bear country, friends. A slow, easy time, which the bear family spends mostly relaxing. Look, there's Mama Bear taking her ease, quietly rocking, shelling early spring peas. The lump beside her, Papa Bear, if you please, needs no excuse to catch a few Z's. Yes, it's spring fever time in bear country, friends. With nothing more taxing than a stretch and a yawn to tax the relaxing. But what's this? An energy bundle? A whirling hubbub? Roughly the size of a smallest she-cub. It's Sister Bear. Lovely, my dear. Just lovely. But does Papa Bear notice Sister Bear's caper? <laughs> Fat chance. He hardly notices the afternoon paper. Well, when Papa saw Brother, for that's who was coming, whistling and humming, make that lazy little swing, he didn't see Brother. He saw a future home run king. Did you see that? Did you see it? A perfect home run swing. A once-in-a-lifetime superstar. An absolute sure thing. Reminds me of me when I was a lad. A natural free swinger, just like his old dad. Stupendous! Tremendous! A quick look at the paper confirmed Mama's worst fears. A disease that strikes terror whenever it appears. Spring fever given way to something much more serious. Papa Bear by now was practically delirious. A golden glove first baseman. A superstar reliever. With that dread disease known as Little League Fever. Oh dear, sighed Mother. This'll be tough on Sister, but it'll be a whole lot tougher on Brother. Baseball is still the national pastime, and it always will be the national pastime. Be a 400 hitter, a 30 game winner, win most valuable player, give speeches after dinner. Oh dear, said Mama, seeing trouble ahead. She saw it in Pa's eyes. She heard it in his feverish cries. He must be stopped. It's like a fever in the blood. I've simply got to stop him. Nip it in the bud. The lad's just like me. Yes, dear? I'm sure you'll agree, said Mama to Papa in her most reasonable tone, that it's wrong to pressure children. They must do things on their own. And it's very wrong for dads to relive their hopes and dreams by making little children play on baseball teams. My dear, you're absolutely right. I couldn't agree with you more. I have nothing but contempt for the sort of windy boar who makes defenseless children do things they'd rather not. They're insensitive, unfeeling, a thoroughly bad lot. They are pitiful and sad. They're an absolute disgrace to the sacred name of Dad. But on the other hand, Papa Bear continued, if a lad wants to play, it just wouldn't do at all to stand in the youngster's way. Hi. So Papa put the question as Brother sauntered by. Would you like to go out for baseball, son? It might be lots of fun. I guess so. A simple, I guess so, was all that Papa got. But it was all that Papa needed. He was off like a shot. Up into the attic, 
searching through the trunk for his ancient paraphernalia, then back down in a jiffy in full baseball regalia. Bat, ball, and glove, cap, mask, and pad. Yes, Papa had the fever, and Papa had it bad. Psst. Psst. Son, now that you have chosen baseball as your career... I have. I commend your close attention, so Peel and I lend an ear. My career? How fortunate you are, my lad. How cleverly you chose your dad. When it comes to baseball, I've expert knowledge. Haven't started in Sandlot School and College. I'm a student of its lore, statistics and traditions, a master of all 11 positions. Baseball's not played by 11. Hmm. A catcher, pitcher, first, second, short, third, right, center, left. Of course, uh, uh, seven. Nine. Just finding out if you're paying attention. Now some baseball basics worthy of mention. Observe closely now. V-ball. V-bat. V-glow. V-hat. Here, you try it. The ball. The bat. The glove. The hat. Not bad. Not bad. Now to continue, just watch old dad. The ball. The bat. Now, now, we must not interfere with brother's budding baseball career. <laughs> to have a chance at fortune and fame, you must master every aspect of the game. Like so. The bunt, the slide, the hidden ball, the mask, the pad, the umpire's call. You're safe. You're out. All right, champ. Give it a whirl. The, the bunt, the slide, the hidden ball, the mask, the pad, the umpire's call. You're safe. You're out. Is that what you mean, Dad? Son. I'll give you some advice, free, gratis. If you expect to achieve major league status, if you want to be great, you're going to have to concentrate. <laughs> A champ, if you want to achieve glory and fame, you're going to have to brush up on your game. <sighs> well, Papa continued, if you're going to sign up for Little League, son, we may as well go over and get her done. Let me, Papa. Let me give it a whirl. Oh, come on now, sweetie. Baseball's no pastime for a girl. Besides, you have your things. Stacks and stacks. Dolls, dishes, jumping rope, jacks. My goodness, sweetie. You have lots and lots to do. But, Papa, I wanted to go out for Little League. Two. Observe closely now. The ball, the bat, the glove, the hat, the bun, the slide, the hidden ball, the mask, the pad, the umpire's call. You're safe. You're out. For little league. Sister asked Mama Bear. I can throw and catch and hit. It really isn't fair. Well, it's just the way it's always been. With all due respect to a view correct of what's out and what's in, I don't give a pin for the way it's always been. I don't want this or this. I want this and this. In other words, I want it all!
I want it all. Yes, every bit. signing up Little League lads. But wait, who was Little League for? Father or son? We're the ones who are supposed to be having the fun. My kid, let's do it. Oh, it was quite a scene at the Bear Country Little League that sunny spring day. It was a wonderful field with a real home plate and painted white lines. Oh, it would have been great to play on a field so brand spanking new. There was only one problem. Too many grown-ups sort of spoil the view. You'll see, <laughs> said Papa. The lad's really super. And after I teach him my secret pitch, the super de looper, he'll... Son, son... Yes, Dad? Uh, 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 see you, chaps. If you're gonna achieve glory and fame, you're gonna have to keep your mind on the game! Now, son, you don't see the major league guys like Ron Grizzly and Tug McMahon fooling around with butterflies, or Sandy Bearfax, or Billy Bear Martin. Ribbit. Maybe later. Now, I see you as a pitcher, and no doubt you'll be starting. So I'm going to teach you my secret pitch, the super secret super deal. Come on now, chuck it in here. Here we go, right in here. Here's the spot. Throw it to Dad. Okay, the batter likes the high, hard one. Let's see you cut the outside corner. Not bad, not bad. Sister Bear, do you mind? Once more, you are in luck, my lad. This pitch was taught me by my dad. Correctly thrown, it absolutely freezes the hitter. Perfectly legal. No wet one or spitter. Within the rules, according to Hoyle. Psst. You just wind up tight, then simply uncoil. <laughs> Simply uncoil. <laughs> I uh, I seem to have developed some sort of glitch <laughs> in my super deluper secret pitch. <laughs> uh, need a little help here, Dad. If it's all the same to you, I've sort of got some things to do. And since you're tied up anyway, 
I'll see you later on today. Hey, come back. We've got a lot of practicing to do. A lot of baseball to learn. Did you see that? Right in the middle of baseball practice. Oh, I just don't understand Cubs today. Please, said Mama. Just calm yourself and hold the fuss. There are some important things we should discuss. Slinking off into the wood, bound for mischief, up to no good. But Mama would not be turned aside. The way Pa had treated Sister Bear affronted Mama's feminine pride. Now, Papa, it really isn't fair, the way you're treating Sister Bear. But her protest fell upon deaf ears. Papa, preoccupied by his own worst fears, that brother, pressured by his peers, was bent on mischief, trouble, up to no good. He followed brother into the wood. What could have gotten into the lad, wandering off, when he could be playing baseball with his dad? What better than baseball? No, well, it's the national game, the bear country path to glory and fame. I just don't get it with Cubs today. You give them every advantage, every aid, then before you know it, you find they've strayed, bent on trouble, mischief bound. And at this point, mind you, it's merely surmise, hanging around with butterflies. It's even worse than I thought. You do things in caves to avoid being caught. Papa knew what he had to do. Learn the secret of Brother Bear's rendezvous. He pressed into the cave. It was quite a squeeze. The cave was pitch dark, but within the darkness, Pa felt a breeze. Then Pa saw as he rounded a bend, the cave was open at the other end. Hmm, said Papa, somewhat disconcerted. These were not the sounds of values subverted, dark goings-on, evil doings to which Brother was drawn. Papa was astonished by what he observed, amazed, nonplussed, totally unnerved. For what was going on was baseball. That's right. To Papa's vast surprise, it was a baseball field that greeted Papa's eyes. Not much of a one, but he had to confess, a baseball field nevertheless. We found a clearing in the wood
Pa got the message. It wasn't pleasant to hear. But the message had come through loud and clear. To think what I've been doing to my own dear son. I've been forgetting the most important thing. The F-U-N. Fun. Yes, Pa saw the error of his ways. And over the next couple of days, without any grown-up pressure or nagging, without any Papa Bear boasting or bragging, Pa stayed on the beam and put together quite a decent little league team. They had one significant lack. They were glaringly weak at the Keystone sack. If we're gonna stay in the pennant race, we're gonna need a glove at second base. Papa tried everyone. Well, not quite. He hadn't tried sister. Then, finally, Papa Bear saw the light. Sister, let's see you do that on the field. Sister Bear stopped everything. At second, she was an impenetrable shield. She stopped bounders and grounders and liners, too. Absolutely nothing got through. Tremendous! Stupendous! She'll be the first! A female major leaguer! She'll revolutionize the game! Go down in baseball history! Make the Hall of Fame! Oh, sorry about that, everyone. And the Bears got back to practice. And fun! F-U-N. Little League Fun. with brother pitching and sister at second. Their brand new pinstripes looking snappy and smart. The opening day game was about to start. Mama and Papa sat in the stands. And while Papa wasn't exactly sitting on his hands, he was quiet, calm, and dignified. Naturally, Papa Bear swelled with pride when brother and sister made a slam-bang play. But my son and daughter was all that Papa had to say. 